I guess we'll start. How how did the uh, how did the knee feel uh, going out there tonight? I felt great. I felt great. I was able to, uh, you know, take uh, take two days, three days, uh, and uh, you know, get some treatment, get some rest. I think I feel better. Uh, I'm going to the game. I felt great. I felt good. Did, did you feel limited at all, or a little rusty at all, or what? Um, I, I, I get no, no, not okay. at all. I felt good. Uh, I was ready to play. You know, to feel my uh, my feet below me. I felt it was steady. Uh, I didn't have no sharp pain. So yeah, I was in a good place. It wasn't rusty at all. Uh, I, I know a lot happened to get to the final 34 seconds ish, but um, you know, you guys have been closing games defensively during the streak. I'm thinking of out the Clippers game, a couple other ones. What what? Um, what did you see, Dante, Brooke, uh, Chris, that, that kind of group in the final 30 seconds there to make all those stops? It was, it was great. You know, Dante with the big block, um, Chris with deflection. You know, um, you know, some days, some days we just got to grind it out at the end. You know, obviously it wasn't uh, pretty. You know, we're up 15 in the fourth quarter, and they were like, you know, just chipping in, chipping in, coming close and close. We try to execute as as better as we can in our offensively, but it's gonna be some days that we we gonna have to have those plays, have to have the big blocks, those deflection, and just grind it out at the end. Um, just, just quickly, um, you get when things weren't great at the start, you and a lot of your teammates would come in, um, like during the losing streaks and things, and say like learning lessons, and this this adversity will make us better down the line. Over this last, you know month and a half, these 14 games. Have you seen that? Have you seen you guys take what you learned from, from those parts of the year to, to winning games now in, in, in so many different ways? Yeah, obviously, you know, we're playing better, we're playing together. Uh, we're all on the same page. Uh, we all know what we're about. And at the end of the day, we just, you know, even when we were losing at the beginning, we were just worrying about getting better as a team and building good habits. You know, we don't we don't worry about the outcome. Our person don't. And, uh, you know, now in the plays that we play good basketball, and we just give ourselves a chance to win. You know, each game, uh, and we got to keep building. We got to keep playing together. We got to whenever we have a lead like that, we got to be able to execute well and uh, maintain the lead. But at the end of the day, pick is not going to go our way all the time. But we got to keep learning. You know, like today we have to learn from this. You know, that uh, having a lead, we came close, and we able to get some stop, get some deflection, get some rebounds. You know, um, everything is a, you know, it's a learning. Uh, yeah, everything you got, you can learn from everything. So I'm just happy that we learn from the losing streak and now we, on the winning streak and we keep learning. Eric, name? I want to go through two things defensively. What do you think of that block Dante had on the Kimball Walker drive late? And then it just looked like every time PJ got switched on to Tatum or Brown, I mean, he was really making them work for it. Just what do you see from him tonight? Both of them did the unbelievable job. Obviously, the block on Kimball was big, big block by Dante. And uh, PJ did a great job just making it tough for Tatum and just, you know, keeping him in front and making him make a second move a third move, making him shoot a tough fairway. Uh, and um, same with Brown, you know, and those guys, you know, the great scorers. You just got to make it as tough as possible for them. And, you know, that's what PJ did. And uh, he did a great job, both of them. I know you told Jim that you felt good and everything. So I was curious if you could take me through a couple plays late offensively. Um, there's a draft from Chris where he found you in the dunker and you just kind of kicked it right out to Drew. And it didn't really look like you looked at the basket. Typically, that's a situation where I think you would catch one dribble and put it in. Um, just what did you see on that play? You know, uh, Chris dropped the play. I think uh, Smart took a step up. And then I felt uh, Drew taking a step down to the uh, corner for a shot. Uh, it was either, it was either, either possession, you know, either uh, – Shower, good shots. Um, I kind of did not grab the ball real well. Uh, so I decided to pass the ball to uh, Drew. I don't remember what he did. I think he didn't shoot the ball. He shot it. He passed it back to, maybe passed it back to Chris. Or he shot it like a later. 
few seconds yeah. later, I don't remember. But yeah, that's that's the decision I made. You know, you know, that's what I I live with that. You know, right. uh, basketball is about you know basketball is about decision making decisions. Sometimes you go make a decision to score. Sometimes you go make a decision to pass. If there's no you know right or wrong, you know you just gotta keep making good decisions. At the time, I felt that was the best decision for me. Uh, on the next possession, you were able to, it was like a high pick and roll. You were able to get around Tice and get to that little floater with the right hand. Just what do you see there when you were attacking at night? I know the Celtics always throw a ton of help at you. Uh, uh, I knew they're going to switch. Uh, obviously, in the first, with me in the first half, they wasn't switching. They were playing uh, back. Uh, but I, I saw with Chris what they were doing. They were like, Double team him and uh, he was throwing to uh, Brooks. So I thought, you know, getting the ball, I can beat, I can beat that and create a shot for either Chris, Jewel, Dante, or whoever. But the switch, I was able to uh, move his feet a little bit, go downhill, and uh, able to uh, get an easy layup. So you know, take us up four, I think, or five, whatever. I don't know. Zora Stevenson. I know previously you've talked about when you're trying to find your rhythm offensively, you go to first kind of looking for your teammates and facilitating. Do you feel like that's kind of what you were doing tonight, especially in the second half, just trying to get everybody else looks and then maybe that would lead to looks for yourself? I was just playing basketball. I I felt like I was in rhythm and I felt good. You know, there's going to be days that, you know, uh, I'm going to come in and, you know, score 30, 40. 20, whatever the case might be. And it's going to be days I'm not, you know, like, but I was in the rhythm. I was waiting for my teammates. I was making the right decision. Um, you know, I don't, I don't feel like, you know, I was out, out, of, out of rhythm. So, you know, I know you guys have your own opinion and uh, it's a conversation, but uh, for me, I try to control the, the narrative that's put, you know, that's out there and uh, as much as, as I can. Today I felt great. My knee felt great. I was in rhythm. Uh, I was trying to find my teammate, make the right decisions. And uh, there's going to be days that um, I'm going to score, as I said, 30. There's going to be days I'm going to score two, you know. But, you know, I'm mature enough to go back home and uh, live with me making the right decision and not focus on that one. And for the record, no opinion. That's why I ask because, you know, we don't know. We got to ask you. Um, last question for you. Where was the headband today? The headband had to go. You know, I was looking like uh, Tony Gregg out there, so the headband had to go. <laughs> Steve McGargy. Just wondering what's going through your mind when you see Tice get breather in the corner right at the game's on the right with the game on the line. Just what's going through your mind when you see him get rid of the ball there? Uh to be honest with you, I was like, oh you know, and uh because the play before I kind of fumbled the ball, you know, and uh, went out of bounds. I was trying to, you know, run away from the crowd. And usually when things like that happen, it favors the, you know, the other team. So thank God he didn't make it. We were able to get a win.